Hello, I'm Pastor Dave. This is Pastor Tom. We're a couple of the pastors here at LifeBridge Assembly in Oak Hill, West Virginia. And we've got an exciting story to tell you about the provision of God, just how awesome God really is. Now, since the beginning of the year, 2021, I started taking our students through a series on prayer, just teaching them how to pray from the beginning, what we should do, and how to do things. And then I knew that one Wednesday coming up, we were having really good weather. I'm like, hey, there's a prayer request we have that we need to take out and do this in person and actually physically pray and not just talk about it. So we decided we're going to go outside and pray for our van because our van was hurting awful. I mean, we, we could take it around town was it. We couldn't drive it to a youth camp or conventions or we couldn't leave town with this thing, which really meant we could do nothing with it. So we went out, planned to go out and pray for the van, which we ended up doing. But here's the cool part. You want to tell them what happened after this? Well, he tells me this on a Tuesday afternoon and that they're going to be praying around our van. Well, I thought that was great. I, you know, appreciated him for doing that and uh, went on about my business. But within the hour, I got a phone call from a friend who said, hey, do you need a bus? Now, I had van on my mind, but so did I. bus was, that's good too. And I said, yeah, what are, you, what are you talking about? And come to find there was someone that was wanting to donate a bus to a local church or ministry nonprofit. And uh, we were on their list. So I contacted the guy, uh, checked it out. And lo and behold, we have a 17 seat passenger bus. Uh, that's better than the 15 passenger van we had and it works and runs and it was donated to us for free Oh, there's even more to this story though. Here's the best part about no did we get a new to us vehicle but When I uh, was in the process of getting this worked out He inquired about our current van which was honestly not worth too much to us But like pastor Dave said around town we would have to rent vans for trips uh, any really outside of town. And uh, he said, so what are you doing with your current van? I said, well, we're, we're you know, we're not needing it. It's and, sitting uh, there he collecting said, dust. Would it, would it be for sale? And I said, uh, yeah, if you, if you would like it. And he said, how much? And so I told him uh, $800 is what our board had settled for the van at its worth, which wasn't much, but it was, he said, hey, I'll give you 800 for it. Without, okay. Without even really, uh, a question or he just said I'll give you 800 for it so here we go again to recap we decided we're gonna go outside the next day to pray for our van that God would give us new something to provide he answers before we had a chance to do this and we get a new vehicle to us and money on top of it and take the other one hold off I literally told my kids this story and they were like wow that that's so amazing I said yeah but the thing is I, w I, I actually said to God we haven't prayed yet. We haven't circled the van yet. And you already answered. You're ahead of time. It's just incredible. I mean, nothing a, to get taken a van away. We get money out of it. What a good problem. And it's, it's to amazing. Have. I mean, this is true. Our, our God is too good. He is too ahead of time. I don't think that's also possible. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, just to show you, I mean, that's something great that can happen. As long as you spend time praying, seeking after God, He knows our, our requests before we even say them. He knows our needs, and as long as we're faithful to continue to give and to go for him, he's going to take care of everything we need and provide what we need for us. That's right. That's right. God is so good. Thank you, Lord.